Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I welcome you all to this presentation, which is so to speak is about public administration. We will tackle the meanings and uh, the developing concepts behind public administration. So to begin with, a public administration is a broad term and can be described as the development, implementation, as well as the study of government policy. Now, public administration review, it is concerned with the pursuit of the public good and the enhancement of the civil society by ensuring that the civil service is well run, fair, and as the services are effective in, a meeting, in meeting the goals of the state. Now, as a discipline, public administration uh, is sought to is linked with the pursuit of public good through the enhancement of the civil society and the social justice in order to make uh, life more acceptable for the citizens through the work done by the officials within uh, various government institutions and to enable these institutions to achieve greater objectives at all levels. Now, we say that uh, public administration as a discipline on its own uh, has uh, been taken as an academic field which is relatively new in comparison with the relative fields such as political science. However, it is a multidisciplinary field which, is, um, which emerged in the 19th century. Conceptual theories of uh, economics, political science, uh, sociology, administrative law, management, as, as well as a range of relative or related uh, fields are used to enrich this field of study. Now that means that this subject matter of uh, public administration is interdisciplinary in nature. It blends several disciplines, as I mentioned, about sociology, history, economics, political science, and etc. Now then, the goals of the field of public administration are related to the democratic values of improving equality, justice, efficiency, and effectiveness of the public services. Now, as in this chapter, guys, we will be able to uh, enroll or to go through the evolution of public administration as this concept refers uh, to the translating of the time focuses on the administrative phenomenon by means of looking at the past in order to learn about the present. Now, we will check about uh, various scholars who did uh, much of their works related to the concept of public uh, administration. Now, the ongoing debates on the nature and the legitimacy of public administration shall be elaborated upon as we as, uh, as well as how public management related to education management. Now, the environment in which public administration takes place as well as the principles that govern the conduct of the public uh, functionalities shall also be highlighted. We begin by giving the description or the discrepancies, the definition of public administration as a, a discipline on its own. We begin. Now, it is not this, there is not yet a general consensus about the definition of public administration, and this is by a scholar known as Fessler, who did uh, give uh, uh, his, 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 his uh, opinion. Now then, uh, we indicate that, or we describe public administration, for example, we define it as based on the systems and the structures and the processes. We may also define public administration in terms of operating with that concept that operates within a particular society as environment. We may also define the, pub the term public administration with the effective of facilitating the, the formulation of appropriate government policy. And lastly, we may also define public administration as the efficient execution of the formulated policy. Now, first things first, now the definition by a scholar called Koza, Kozi. He talks about public administration as the executive branch of government, the civil service, bureaucracy, the formulation, implementation, evaluation, as well as the modification of public policy. The term represents a broad ranging amorphous combination of the theory practice whose objectives are to promote understanding of government and its relationship with the society, to encourage public policies uh, that are responsible to the needs of the for the social needs. Now, the number two definition, apart from that which uh, conceptualizes the executive branch of government, the civil service, bureaucracy, the formulation, implementation, and execution 
of uh, public policy is that of which uh, says that public administration is decision making, planning, or uh, planning the work to be done, formulating objectives as well as the goals, working with the legislative and citizen organizations to gain public support and as well as the funds for government programs, as well as establishing and revising the organization's directions and uh, supervising employees, providing leadership, communicating, and receiving communications. Number three of the definition of public administration is that receiving that underscores a comprehensive as well as a peculiar field of activity consisting of numerous activities, processes, as well as functionalities performed by public officials working in public institutions. These aimed at producing goods and rendering services for the benefits. As a discipline on this own, we will find that public administration provides uh, various services to the people or to the citizen, and some of these uh, services are the ones that I've talked about in this particular instance. That is number three, uh, definition, the third definition of public administration. So scholars, we must, must uh, conceptualize the fact that the generic administrative activities or functionalities of public policy financing, organizing, staffing, and determination of work procedures are devising the methods of control. So on, so in the conclusion, we will conclude to draw from summing up all the above definitions that public administration consists of activities that form part of executive as well as opposed uh, to the executives and the judicial powers of administrative. Its main acti uh, activity or objective should be martial human and material resources in order to achieve the objective of the public policy. Up to that point, we continue with the radical changes or the processes, evolution of public administration uh, to the next presentation. Goodbye. Thank you for uh, tuning in. Until next time.